Good morning, guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you this trucking dispatch software we've been working on for a couple of years. Uh, it makes things a lot easier. It comes with an app for the drivers. The driver is going to be able to change statuses and do a lot of work that um, can free up your dispatcher's time to be doing something else. So uh, once you sign up, you'll see a page like that. Uh, so this is your a little bit of a reporting your active loads, this week's earnings, this month's earning, and unpaid invoices, invoices that are still waiting to be paid. This year's income right here so far, number of trucks and number of drivers. Okay. The first uh, row here is about your load. This is how you enter the first uh, your load. This is how you dispatch the load. This is how you track it. And this is a calendar. You can see a uh, driver's calendar. Um, so active loads here stuff you're working on send a packet if a broker calls once you send a packet with one click you click here enter the email of the broker hit send your packet will go where is that packet is going to come from it's coming it's from your settings here into your profile this is your insurance w9 authority everything if you have one packet one full packet you just put it in here so in this case as soon as you put an email packet will go simple as that okay now let me show you how this thing works uh, first when you get a load either from a customer or a broker uh, you enter it here here logistics company this is a broker or a customer so I select my broker if you don't have them in here you create new you will you'll be able to add your your, uh, bro your broker company now this is the agent that works for this guy let's say here you have CH Robinson you're not if you're dealing with one guy he's gonna be there they change or you have more multiple guys you just add them in here we're gonna stick with broker company and here they have broker Tim Smith where is stuff coming from it's coming from brokers right here so broker company this is a company and this is the agents okay if they have multiple agent you can always add agents okay but we don't have to do that I keep it simple so Let's go create our own load, first load. Okay, we're gonna select broker company. This is my agent, Tim Smith. This is his phone number and email. Shipper, ABC shipping. Location, this is the address of the pickup. Pickup we're gonna do today. What time? Let's do at noon. That's a flat, that's an appointment. So noon to noon, and the delivery X Y Z. Let's make it a little re uh, receiving delivery. Let's do somewhere in Los Angeles. One, two, three, State Street. I'm sure they have a State Street in Los Angeles. Everybody does State Street. Los. They do. It's right here. One, two, three, <laughs> and. Let's give him uh, four days. One, two, three. Let's give him Monday. Monday, delivery, 8 a.m. till noon. Okay. All right. right away, you got your mileage right here. Automatically calculated for you. The weight, 30,000. Broker load ID is very important. That's how you communicate with the broker. If any any pickup numbers, any information, you can add it here. It'll get to the driver. If it doesn't fit here, more stuff, you, you have notes. You can add it in here. It will go to your driver. Okay. Uh, now let's get to the rate. How much you think this load should go for? That's 1,900. Let's do a, let's do 4,000. That should be nice. All right. And. So total is 4,000. You have lumpers, any other stuff, you can add it here when you find out about your lumpers and then like that. So uh, so you got your rate confirmation, of course, right? So you click here, you enter it. I have a rate con right here. I'm going to upload it. I already did. It's right there. And your POD is going to go over here. It's going to come straight from your driver. You don't even have to touch it. Any miscellaneous document, any surcharges, mechanics, any stuff that you deal with, is going to go here from the driver directly so we're going to save this load okay so this load is load number 001 okay it hasn't been dispatched and the status isn't been assigned okay this is the rate count remember 
Here's the rate cut. Sorry, there is getting organized. All right, so what do we do next? We need to dispatch the load, right? I'm not going to keep it sitting. I'm going to click on dispatch. That's for today. Every time you click on dispatch, it will take you to today. You want tomorrow? You go next. Next. Guess what happens when you get to Monday? Monday, you have a delivery. That same load. It's going to have to be delivered. Okay? So let's just go back to today. And we need to assign the driver to this one. Now, um, I'm the only driver here, so I'm going to select myself. Once I select myself, I will get a text message with the detailed load to my phone. Text message. And also, my app is going to notify me that uh, I have a load pending I had to accept. So I click Submit. Watch the status of this load. Yeah, my phone just rang, uh, vibrated. So waiting for driver approval. When you send the load to the driver, you don't assume he knows about it. He's got to tell you I know about it. So I got my text message. And also, I'm going to show you this stuff in another video. I'm going to show you just my phone, what my phone does. I'm going to open up my app. I'm going to go to pending loads. And I have a load number from Los Park, Illinois to Los Angeles, California, with a button that says accept. Okay. I'm going to hit accept. Look what's going to happen here. The status automatically changed in your screen to dispatch. And not only that, your broker had an email notification. I'm waiting for that email. The broker got an email notification telling him, hey, um, this is your driver information. Still waiting for it. I'm going to keep going and I'll show it to you. Sometimes it takes a while. All right. So broker got the info. Okay. Now driver, guess what he's going to do? He's going to go to pick up his load, right? So I the driver just got to the pickup location. I have my load here with all the info and I have a button that says at pickup location. I'm going to click on that button. Once I arrived, I click on that button. Look what's going to happen to your screen. It just changed to a driver at pickup location. And not only that, the broker also has been notified that uh, the driver has there. That here is the, yeah, so here is the load. This is the email I was telling you about. It arrived. It has the driver information. Dear Tim, thank you, blah, blah, blah. The load, your load number 111, that's the broker load, not your load. Your load is 001. The broker load is 111, so he knows what he's talking about. And the pickup, your driver info right here. Phone number, truck, tra trailer. Okay. Now, the other email about the status change, uh, it's right here. Remember, here. Dear Tim, here's your current load status. Load number, pickup number, status driver at pickup location. You still haven't done, your dispatch hasn't done anything. So now from here, the driver got loaded. I have my load in front of me on my app, and it says loaded and en route. It's a button. Once I'm loaded, I'm ready to hit the road. I'm going to click on it. What happens to your dispatch? It changed. Driver loaded and en route. Okay. Also, the broker will get an email with that, with that information. So he's not going to keep bothering you, telling you where is your driver at and everything. Okay. The other thing here, we'll get back to this. Um, you can actually track your driver, can find out where his location is. That's my current location right now. It just goes to, to the phone. So that's me right here. Okay. Now let's go back to our dispatch. Uh, time changed. Okay. It's actually midnight here. That's why we didn't come up. <laughs> Turn midnight and uh, so yeah. So now the driver is going to be gone, right, for a few days. So come to the 24th. So go next, next. So let's assume today is Monday, the 24th, right? And as soon as you come to your office, you open this, and you have you know that you have a delivery from eight to noon. Your driver, this guy. And he needs to be delivered from 8 to noon. So the driver is going to talk to you. 
He's at the receiver. I got my load in front of me with the button at the receiver. I'm going to click on it. Boom. It changes it to you at the receiver. So when you, sometimes you show up to work and you already have that information. And the broker already has that information via email. So nobody's going to call you and everything is running smooth. Now, my load now status changed. I have a button that says empty. Okay. Am I empty now? Once I'm empty, I don't have to call my dispatcher. I just hit empty. And your status again changes to status completed. Okay. And now the app shows me a button. Would you like to upload the POD? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to upload the key, uh, POD right now to this particular load. I don't have a POD, but I have a piece of paper. Let's assume that's a POD. I'm going to take a picture of it right now. I just did. And I'm going to say use photo and <clears throat> upload POD. I'm uploading it right now. They asked me, would I need to upload more pages? I'm going to say no. Now it's asked me to upload any other documents like lumper documents or any stuff that, you know, now I'm just saying no. Or you know what, I'll just put the same one. Uh, let's just take yes, just for the sake of it. All right. I'm taking the same document, by the way. Just don't be confused. It's the same document. That's the only paper I have in front of me. So I'm using it as a miscellaneous. Okay. Are there any other thing else? No, I'm done. So now your load is completed. Let's let's look it up. Now here's the POD I uploaded from my phone. The driver uploaded this on his phone, and it's right here. That's the POD. And let's say I have some lumper fee or some miscellaneous document. It goes here and it's right here. Okay. Now, if something you have in your computer, you want to move it here, you can. Let's just, I'm going to try to find some paper I can add. Let's assume it belongs to the load. Uh, rate con, I have a, a rate con here. Let's just put it in here. It's dropped, so it's right here. It uploaded. So, yeah, I uploaded this rate con as a miscellaneous. So just, you know, documents, can you can just throw them in here. Okay, so now the load has been completed. Now we're going to go to billing. Now this is the sweet part of also. Billing, so once the load is completed, once your driver hit empty, by the way, the status, if the driver doesn't use the app, you can actually do it yourself too. You can change the load status yourself by clicking change status okay he doesn't have to do it uh by himself so let's go back to billing so as soon as the load is completed it goes to completed loads now this is my completed load it comes from broker blah, blah, blah. edit if you want to edit anything remember you want to add like lumper fee or or something you can go back here and edit this part add some money to it what have you let's just keep it simple uh, now, with one click, I'm going to create an invoice for this document. If you, have a, if you have a broker, if you have a factoring company here, it will go, if you have a factoring company here, it will go to this factoring company. I don't have any. I'm just going to do direct, directly to, uh, to the broker. So completed. I'm just going to create an invoice. Boom. You just created an invoice with one click. Whole beautiful invoice. Ready to go with your paperwork. Okay. Done. You look at it. Everything looks good. Great. Now, now I'm going to send the bills for payment. If I have a factoring company on file, it's going to go to the factoring company. If not, it's going to go to the broker. Either way, you can choose where to send it to. So I'm going to click send bills. Bills is going to go all the documents, miscellaneous document, PODs. Watch. So I'm going to click here. What do you want to send? POD, rate count, invoices, all of them. What do you want to send them to? That's by default. That's the broker's email. If you have a factoring company, you will go by default to the factoring company. If it's if you want to send it to maybe you have a billing person or somebody, you can just change the email and put it in there. And I'm going to submit this. Now I'm going to show you what the broker is going to get. I'll wait for that email so we can see it together. All right. So I got an email saying 
request for payment, load number 001. That's your company, test company. Miscellaneous document, rate confirmation, invoice. So open the invoice, it's right here. Miscellaneous document, it's an error there. Okay, we have a little bug there. We, we've been working on it. But anyhow, so you click on those, you'll get all, the broker will get all the documents. We're gonna get in that, it's a little glitch. So now I'm gonna continue with what else after you send the documents, you wait for payments, right? So if you wanna download all the files, by the way, you can just click here and download them all. They will download as a zip file. You know, I just downloaded everything. Um, now let's go back to home and move this load. Now we go to invoices, like let's say you're waiting on the payment, you go to invoices. So we have this load pending payment, okay? And you opened your bank account, you see the payment for $4,000 coming from the broker or factoring company or what have you. So you just go over here and uh, you change your payment status to load paid, date of payment, let's just say today, amount paid, could be short pay, right? Could be short pay or could be some deductions or something you need to justify it. So let's, for sake of simplicity, you got 4,000 here. You got a wire transfer, notes. Any notes about this payment? Now, uh, whatever you want, I'll just put some junk in here. So I'm gonna submit, good. Now the load disappeared from here. Where do you think the load is gonna go? You're gonna go to paid invoices. Look at the 4,000, it's already on this year's income, 4,000. This month's income, 4,000. This week's earning, it's not showing there for whatever reason, what time is it? Yeah, okay. And let's go to paid invoices. Now, everything looks good with this load, empty. We're gonna, let's say you wanna cancel payments, whatever, you know. Uh, now we're gonna archive it, it's done. It needs to be archived, I just click on archive. It's out of my system. If I wanna see it again, I go to archive, archive loads, which is here. This is my archive loads. All of them are gonna be here. Let's say the broker calls, is like, hey, you guys, uh, I need the POD for load, so at 111. This is like day-to-day -day stuff that just pain in the butt happens all the time i need load number one 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 i need the pod i'm like okay he's not going to give you your load number he doesn't know it he tells you his so you just go okay you hit one 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 here and you do a search the load comes back that's in and back so you go over here no nope, that's not the load That's a load, go in here, and you send POD. Come here, you send it. Oh, you gotta select here, and I'm gonna send POD. It'll be like, okay, what's your email? Blah, 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 send POD, it will go to them without less pain. Um, so yeah, and the driver can see his uh, past loads, history on the app. I'm gonna make another video about the app, how the, the app works and the text messaging and all that stuff. So yeah, that's uh, basically what the uh, the whole application does. Uh, simplifies your life and organizes you. 10 years later, somebody will say, hey, some load you know, got damaged or something. You just open up, find the POD right away, find the signature, you're done. Um, brokers, You've been dealing with a broker for 10 years, and one day he said you have a problem, the broker packet is right here. When you have a packet, you put the broker packet right here. For example, this guy, we have a broker packet. So you upload it here, it will stay there forever. You don't have to dig in on files and stuff like that. So that's uh, there's much more into it. Uh, I'll let you guys like scavenger hunt, get to know it. Any questions, please do not hesitate to call me. I'm going to leave my phone number in, in the description. And all right, wish you guys luck.